Uh, Honourable Members, before I uh, call on special interest, I'd like to welcome to the Chamber today a uh, guest of Honourable Members, um, guest of the Honourable Member for Nelson, uh, Barbara Marshall from uh, Kingston Beach Coast Care, uh, Peter Stronick, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Land Care Tasmania, uh, Nicole King, who is the Trainee Aboriginal Land Manager Officer with the Kingbra Council, um, Tracy Dillon, who's the Chief Executive Officer of the South East Tasmanian Aboriginal Corporation, uh, Renee Rayshart, Coordinator of Natural Areas and Biodiversity from the Kingborough Council, Elizabeth um, Quinn, who's the Manager of Environmental Services for the Kingborough Council, uh, welcome to you, and guests of the uh, Honourable Member for Rumney, uh, Erica Maxwell and Alan Purden. Uh, so before I call the Honourable uh, Member for Nelson, I'd also like to, in more a self-interest matter, uh, wish the Honourable Member for Hewan happy birthday and thank him for choosing to spend his special day with us in the chamber. Uh, the Honourable Member for Nelson. Thank you, Mr President. I'm delighted to rise today to celebrate the success of those recognised last month at the Tasmanian Landcare Awards held at Government House and the laudable 30th anniversary of Landcare Tasmania. The Tasmanian State and Territory Landcare Awards 2024 honour individuals, groups and organisations making outstanding contributions for caring for the environment in their local communities for the benefit of all Australians today and for generations to come. Finalists and winners are celebrated for their dedication and inspiration that they provide as the backbone of land care efforts in our state. I note that winners of the State and Territory Land Care Awards will have the opportunity to run for National Land Care Awards to be held later this year. And I know members here will join me in wishing the Tasmanian winners the very best for that endeavour. Mr President, I was honoured to attend the awards event and while I naturally congratulate all winners recognised there, I'm proud to share that, that three organisations connected to the Electoral Division of Nelson were awarded that evening. These organisations were Kingston Beach Coast Care, South East Tasmanian Aboriginal Corporation, SeaTac, and Kingborough Council. And I'm pleased to have the CEO of Landcare Tasmania, Peter Stronick, as well as some of the successful award recipients join us today in the chamber. And I acknowledge also those who couldn't make it along today, but whose efforts we also celebrate. Mr President, I would like to speak about these brilliant groups, how they contribute to the Kingborough community and demonstrate that keeping community at the heart of what they do creates rewarding and impactful action for improving the world around us. The Kingston Beach Coast Care Group received the Greyhound Coast Care Award, which is awarded to a community group or network that has shown a real and active commitment towards improving a marine and coastal environment. Kingston Beach Coast Care are a group of passionate individuals under the leadership of Barbara Marshall who meet once a month to restore the coastal, riparian and marine habitats around Kingston Beach, Browns River and Tyndall Beach. Founded in 2000 to address a growing weed invasion that was rapidly spreading across the area, the group are always keen to welcome new volunteers to monthly working bees where they remove weeds, collect rubbish and plant native plants. Mr President, as someone who cherishes walking along Kingston Beach and surrounding areas, I can assure you that the enthusiastic efforts of these volunteers has not gone unnoticed and has greatly improved the lives of many in their community who value this beautiful natural area. The group are currently working on restoring and improving Promenalina Browns River Salt Marsh, as well as working on the Tyndall Beach Car Park Coastal Erosion Mitigation Project. It's wonderful that the conservation efforts of Kingston Beach Coast Care could be recognised and I wish them all the best in their ongoing commitment to supporting these rich and diverse coastal environments. Mr President, the First Nations Land Care Collaboration Award was received by the South East Tasmanian Aboriginal Corporation, SeaTac, and in partnership with the Kingborough Council. This partnership between Kingborough Council, SeaTac, as well as NRM South and Bruni Farming was established in 2018, piloting an Aboriginal schools-based apprenticeship program in conservation and ecosystem management from TAFE Tasmania. The program equipped people with the necessary skills to work in a wide variety of roles in the conservation and ecosystem management industry, as well as in Indigenous land management and ecological restoration. 
SeaTac endeavour to empower Aboriginal people of South East Tasmania to support the ongoing development of the Aboriginal community and promote Indigenous history and culture. Their partnership with the Kingborough Council has been greatly beneficial to the environmental conservation of Bruni Island and funded by NRM South, they were able to offer a three-year trainee Aboriginal land management officer position through the Priority Actions for Eastern Quolls on North Bruni Island project. This project, Mr President, was undertaken by Kingborough Council and community members to protect Bruni Island's wildlife from the threat of roaming domestic cats and better protect the biodiversity of the area. The partnership underpinning this project has facilitated the exchange of cultural knowledge, connecting the community with the land, truly making a significant positive impact, and I commend what has been achieved. Mr President, Landcare Tasmania was the first independent state peak body for Landcare in Australia. And as well as coming together to recognise award recipients on the 30th of May, Landcare Tasmania also celebrated its 30th birthday. This is an incredible achievement in itself, with 30 years of unique, a unique movement which has empowered and enabled the protection, restoration and care for Tasmania's beautiful natural areas. Over those 30 years, Landcare Tasmania has grown into a robust community of more than 300 member groups and more than 6,900 volunteers statewide. Together, they continue to protect and restore the soils, waterways, flora and fauna that make Tasmania unique. It is evident that caring for the landscape is something that Tasmanians highly value, and the landcare community, represented by those thousands of volunteers all over the state, have played an important role in leading community awareness programs, facilitating citizen science and training, as well as landscape scale projects. I know, Mr President, the state government has provided continued support for the landcare community through Landcare Tasmania for many years, and I hope we'll see that generous support continue into the future. In conclusion, Mr President, I would like to congratulate one more time all recipients of the 2024 Tasmanian Landcare Awards, especially those connected with the Nelson electorate, and extend my best wishes for their continued important efforts caring for our beautiful state. Yeah. Yeah.